To the body shop! Six days to get the Sloan truck done. Wow. I got a lot of things that still need to get finished. The truck needs to be body worked, needs to be painted. We need to get the interior mocked up and done. We still need a lot of stuff. They brought the hero truck over to the body shop. The game plan is for uh, really eating on the hero truck while I stay out here and work on one of the stunt trucks, and that way we can get moving as far as possible. All this flush with the, with the hood. First thing I'm going to have Rusty do this morning is finish up the hood vents for the hero truck. What I did was I took a piece of three-inch exhaust tubing, cut a big oval hole, put it in on an angle, and cut it up to where it gives it that look. And then we're going to have to make do five more, so all the other hood vents for all the other trucks all have to be the same. You can use this as a template. I'm working on putting these vents in the side of all these hoods. Joe did the first one, just trying to get it to fit this piece here, which is a template, and just trying to get it to fit the contour of it properly. Looks good. I like it. Now you only have five more to make. Two for each truck and oh, one yeah. more on the other side. Five more. Good job, Rusty. Thank you. We have a motor. Freshly dynoed, black on black. It looks good. We still need a flywheel, thermostat, fuel pump. We're also gonna need a transmission before I can go ahead and mount the motor. Oh, so we can't mount the motor until we get that. We already got big block motor mount from LMC. We obviously have an issue with the, as we do on every build. When will we have an answer on the tranny? Today. I brought on somebody new thinking that this is going to be the person that's going to be able to handle this, but all I hear all day long is, well, I can't do what I need to do if I don't have the parts. I can't order the throttle cables or any of that crap without knowing what it, any of it is, and nobody knows what we're getting. Does anybody understand that we, Friday is the day? It has to I, be I don't know if they do. You know, I this know. whole, it's on its way, it's on its way, oh, don't worry about it, that's easy. That can't work anymore. Everything kind of falls in like a domino effect. Joe needs the parts to be able to do. Firmer set and housing and a fuel pump. It always seems like stuff gets figured out in the 11th hour, but on a build like this, we need all the parts now. Okay, here's the dilemma. Um, on the rendering, you can see the kind of the grill's been cut and these teeth have been put in. If we can somehow cut this okay. into this V, get this out, and then see if we can mount these underneath it. And then all they have to do is just paint this and paint these. Right now we're in the last days of getting this hero truck done for Sly. The biggest part where I'm concerned a little bit with is the front grill. I mean, the front grill was obviously a special design that I made for Sly to really kind of add that 50 Merc style into this, this 55 Ford truck. What do you think? Yeah, we do five on each side? Yeah, I think we should do And it. just don't do one in the middle? Yeah. Just gotta get the angles. Well, that's gonna be the tricky part. I think, should we have them sticking out like that more? I think so. Think huh? It looks nice. It looks better. So me and Moscow will place all the teeth, we'll lay them all out, and then we'll place them per the rendering where they should go and see if it's the look we're trying to get. Installation of all the other vents in the hoods. Perfect. A oh. couple more can they can go off on their merry way. Joe and I got the bed on the back of the hero truck. Well, I was told that we need to get the truck bed in the body shop done by the end of the day with the bed floor in it, the wheel tubs, and all the good stuff. This is where the wood would go. Original bed floor would be wood on this truck. We've deleted that. And now we're going to weld in a 
solid steel bed floor. Why don't we make a frame, like maybe a half inch or, or one inch uh, perimeter frame? We're gonna make the frame for a bed floor. We have to put some fenders on it to determine how big the wheel tubs we're gonna have to make. Like butter. These. Trying. Come on, you little Sally Pace. From there, we cut the actual bed floor out out of 14 gauge mild steel. The floor is going in. Don't hit the engine. Oh, oh you hit my tool cart. <laughs> Go. Damn it. And over 50 years old, they get all out of whack and just crooked. The beds are never really square, and I cut a square piece out. It doesn't fit. So now we're shaving it down until it fits. Cross your fingers. Ready? Go. Damn! It took a few tries, but I got it. Booyah! And it fit right in and tacked it all down. Coming up on Street Customs. We just kind of fitted the hood, and we have some issues with the hinges. What's it buckling on right there? Oh, is it? Ah! Well, it hurt a little bit. It's not good.